So set can also be used against your smartphones. You don't need a computer to accomplish social engineering because nowadays smartphones act almost exactly like a computer, right? So we can use them to browse media, we can open up internet websites, pretty much anything that you would do on a computer, nowadays you can do on a smartphone. So having said that, SET can target a smartphone with SMS spoofing. Now we'll use option number seven here, which is SMS spoofing attack. We have the option to perform SMS spoofing or create a template. Uh, of course, we'll perform the attack for now, and we have the option to attack uh, a single phone number or a mass uh, set of SMSs. So let's target one number for now and send the SMS to your target number here. So uh, plus sign one, I'm going to just type a few numbers as an example, just for the demo. Now you can use a predefined template for the SMS, or you can create your own. SMS. Now let's type something here. Uh, the source phone number will be plus sign 11234567899. Make it easy. And here's the body for the SMS. Are ready? Okay. Hey man, check out this link. Cool apps for your Android. And then we're going to type in the link here www.badsite.com. We're being kind of obvious here. All right, so now to send this SMS to spoof the number we have specified here, we need to be subscribed to one of these sites. Now the first one doesn't always work, just know that. But those two in the middle, uh, they need a paid subscription and with option number four, we'll use an Android emulator to accomplish the spoofing. So, so you need one of these three options to spoof the message. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with option number two. Uh, just to show us, uh, just show you what it, it will ask us. And it will ask me for my ID. So let's say my name and password and email for the receipt. All right. And to send you the information and receipt for the SMS sent. And that's optional, as you can see. Now here, it will try to connect to the site with your credentials to send the SMS.